friends, welcome to our channel Divya Warriors. I am Sridhita. I am studying in 8th class. Today I am going to teach you sentence from English grammar. So let's get started. Let's come to the topic. Okay, what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words which make a complete sense. A sentence is a group of words which make a complete a complete sense. Okay, let us write an example for it. The example is marry a lamb little has. Okay? We are not having a correct proper sense for this. We are not having a meaning. So let us change into the correct form. Marry has a little lamb okay now we are having a correct proper sense for it and the meaning is marry a girl is having a little lamb we are having a meaning so this comes under a sentence okay let's come to the types of sentences now let's come to the types of sentences There are four types of sentences. The first one is assertive or declarative. Okay. What is an assertive sentence? A sentence which states a fact. Okay. A sentence. which states a fact okay now let's write an example for it example one is Ramu has a green bag. Ramu has a green bag. Okay. In this the sentence. What the sentence saying? Ramu has a green bag. The sentence is stating that the boy is having a bag which is in green. It's stating a fact. So it comes under declarative sentence. Let's write another example. The other example is Sahasra is having a green pen okay in this sentence same like the first sentence the sentence is stating that the girl is having a pen which is in green this also comes under as a your declarative now let's write the second type the second type is imperative okay sorry interrogative the second type is interrogative. Okay, what is an interrogative sentence? A sentence which asks a question. A sentence which asks a question. Okay? Let us write an example for this also. The example is What is your name? Okay. <clears throat> what is your name? In this sentence, 
the sentence is asking the other person the first person is asking the other person an interrogative sentence always asks a question so this is a question so it comes under an interrogative sentence okay the second example is do you have money do you have money this sentence is also asking the person is questioning the other person so this also comes under interrogative sentence well, let's come to the third type the third type is imper imperative sentence imperative okay what is an imperative sentence a sentence which expresses a sentence which expresses suggestion advice order request okay let us write an example for request okay <clears throat> the example for request is can you please lend me a pen okay in this sentence the person is asking the other person that can you can you please lend me a pen the person is requesting he is using please so he is requesting the other person which comes under imperative sentence let us write example for ordering okay shut the door shut the door in this sentence the person is saying to the other person that is ordering is not saying is ordering that shut the door so order also comes under imperative sentence okay let us write the fourth type the fourth type is exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentence okay what is an exclamatory sentence a sentence which expresses surprise sorrow joy serious happiness okay let us write example for surprise the first example is wow what a beautiful flower it is okay wow what a beautiful flower it is the person is exclaiming he is surprised and he said that wow what a beautiful flower it is he is exclaiming he is surprising so this also this example comes under exclamatory sentence let us write other example for serious okay i am angry i am angry the person is shouting his this sentence comes under serious seriousness also comes under exclamatory sentence he is exclaiming that i am angry so this sentence is the example for exclamatory sentence let us write the note the note is first for the assertive or declarative an assertive sentence or a declarative sentence always ends with a full stop always ends with a full stop let us write the second type which is 
interrogator an interrogative sentence always ends with a question mark okay now the third type is imperative an imperative sentence may end with either a full stop or a question mark okay now let us explain about this now in this example the person is asking when we take the word please from here can you lend me a pen this is a question but we are using the word please so it comes under request which is imperative sentence so we use question mark but for this we are not asking he is not questioning he is ordering he is saying he is not saying that he is requesting he is not requesting here he is ordering so th this sentence ends with a full stop ok let's try the fourth type the fourth type is exclamatory Okay. An exclamatory sentence always ends with the exclamatory mark. Okay. Now I am going to show you some examples. Okay. Let us see these examples. Okay. Let's write this sentence into actual form. Ramesh blue pen has a. Ramesh has a blue pen okay this is the correct one this is dumbbell and this is the correct this is called as a sentence okay change this sentence sorry what type of sentence is this ready steady go in this sentence we are having an exclamatory mark so it is an exclamatory sentence okay okay let's go for a river bath the person is asking the other person that let's go he's asking he's giving an advice so this is called as an imperative sentence this is an imperative sentence okay why are you so late? In this sentence, we are having a question mark. So, it is a interrogative sentence. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.